The illegal baby daycare centers in various estates in Naivasha has been blamed for the rise in rickets cases among children. This is a concern raised by a joint group of uh, uh, foreign and local medics and activists who visited a home in Kabati estate in Naivasha and distributed mobility <laughs> devices to people living with disabilities. <laughs> So we want to make sure that we come help because we believe that humanity is the same all over the world and that nobody should be able, uh, nobody should have to live without the ability to get around and walk and have access to water and food and the things that they need. So, uh, so today is the first day of distribution. Actually, we uh, were looking to do distribution to about uh, 20 families around uh, Kabati and for the whole week we'll be doing distribution across Naivasha sub-county, Maimahiu, Moindabi, uh, all these areas, Kerema, all these areas around Naivasha, so that's the plan for them. Uh, from the database we have in Naivasha, we have about 1,700 persons living with disability in Viwandani and translates to about 4,000 in the whole of Naivasha. So that is quite alarming and what we have right now is quite short. We have so much aid, but we also want to ask the government, so any aid that comes to Kenya, it's up to us to make sure that that is duty free. We had to pay for this consignment. This aid we got from Arizona had to be checked out in the port. And that is quite touching. It should be like that because that is aid that we received. All right, it's my